Call it one of the most dubious honors for government agencies, the so-called Teddy Awards handed out by the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. This year's dishonorees in public spending are Montreal in the municipal category for its controversial Formula E race. It cost the city $34 million and was apparently a low turnout flop. The Ontario government's widely hated Fair Hydro Plan takes the provincial award. According to the Federation, nothing says fair, like spending an extra $39 billion for electricity. And finally, federally, the Canada 150 rink on Parliament Hill. Here's what the CTF's federal director said about it. Spending $8.2 million on the temporary ice pad just outside here on Parliament Hill, which you can't even skate on unless you book tickets, uh, 45 minute slots, two days in advance. And don't even think about bringing your hockey stick because hockey's not allowed. Uh, you're also not allowed to bring food and drink or babies. Uh, you're also not allowed to have any fun. Well, I'm kidding about the fun, but not really. The price tag for the rink works out to about $100,000 per day or more than $50 per skater and is located just one block away from the Rideau Canal, which is widely known as Canada's most famous outdoor skating rink. Calgary also earned a lifetime achievement in mis misspending for the city's costly public art program. Let's take a look, closer look at conditions across the country with Chris May at the Weather Network. The prairies are being pounded with a mix of winter weather. Yeah, that is, that is the truth. I'm not going to waste anything on this forecast. I'm just going to get to the numbers. We're looking at around 5 centimeters or more for Calgary, 10 to 20. Uh, central Alberta pushing into central, pushing onto the Saskatchewan border. Saskatoon and Regina, you are going to get in to snow, but it'll be very light amounts of snow. We have another Arctic boundary that is sinking south, and as it does, upsloping snow, which brings your uh, Calgary totals around the five centimeter mark. I can't believe they got a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, uh, right against the base of the